Hello again, race fans, and welcome to Naga Car TV. This is your host, Putz, and today's broadcast is from Dropez Street Circuit for the Loco Hot Sauce Street Race of Dropez, round two of the Naga Car GT series. Failing to qualify for today's race were two privateers, Jamie Rourke in the 110 and Roland Hoiber in the 112 car. So unfortunately, they will not be participating in today's event, but the other 24 drivers will. Let's head over and take a look at the starting grid for the first heat. And in heat one, we have the double zero of Josip Lettenberg for Volcano Motorsports. Number one of Ryan Bachelot for Peninsula Motorsports. Number 31, Carl Weiss for Razgriz Racing Team. Number 90 of Gota Guard for Herbal Productions. Masami Toyoma in the Vemac Grand Prix, number 9, and Shu Ito in the R Garage, number 38. We'll head on down to the track here in just a second, but first let's give you an overview of this street circuit. Jopez is a very wide open street circuit with a couple of long straightaways connected by some tight turns. Heads into the first turn after a little kink left into 180 degrees and then a sharp turn to the right, followed by another 90 degree right hander and then around to the left along the bayside straightaway and into the S's complex and back around to the main straight to the finish line. Let's head on down to the track and get ready for this race. And three, two, one, we are underway in heat one and Lettenberg gets a good jump off of the start Looks like second is being held by Bachelot. Third is Carl Weiss. Those three have kind of broken away. And then it's Masami Toyoma, Gota Guard, and Shu Ito bringing up the rear. So they have a lot more track to work with than they did last week. This circuit is much wider. Even though it is a street course, it's almost like a very wide circuit, really. And Lettenberg is pulling out a huge lead. Bachelot comfortably in second. Vice in third. There's a battle farther back in the pack between Ito and go to guard. Ito takes the spot and guard hits the inside curb and goes for a little bit of a air time there. Drops back. This race is pretty wide open here. There's not really a whole lot of battles going on. Everybody's mostly spaced out. Volcano Motorsports, Joseph Lettenberg, holding a commanding lead over Ryan Bachelot, and Carl Weiss continues to hold third. Now Shu Ito is going to press Masami Toyoma for fourth position here. Let's see if he can get it done. Meanwhile, it looks like Weiss is closing in on Bachelot. And Ito has gotten by Toyoma. Bachelot is going to hold off Vice. It's close for the fourth position. But we have our finish here. Joseph Lettenberg takes the first spot and transfers to the A main. Ryan Bachelot second to the B main. Carl Vice will gain a spot in the last chance dash. Shu Ito bringing up fourth. Masami Toyota, Toyoma in fifth. And Go to Guard brings up the rear in sixth position. And now here's the lineup for Heat 2. Samuel Highcliffe for Volcano Motorsports qualified second, so he takes the pole in this heat. Nico Thomas will take the second starting spot. Dale Aceman, third in the number 103. Sakito Takasani in the number 8 will be fourth. Anna Patrice in the number 12, fifth. And Xavier Mathis in the 333 will start in last position. And here we go. Three, two, one, and we are racing. And Highcliff again gets a good jump, just like his teammate. It looks like there's gonna be a little bit more battling back in the pack. Nico Thomas trying to hold the spot. And it looks like there's a battle between Patrice, Thomas, and Takasani there. They're all vying for that second spot. Takasani goes over the curb. And he drops back into the clutches of Aceman and Mathis. Patrice still battling with Nico Thomas. 
Patrice has the edge right now. Thomas gives her a shove into the turn and gets by on the inside, heading onto the base straightaway. And we're still battling. It looks like Takasani is starting to come back a little bit. He's right there on Patrice's bumper. Thomas has opened up a little bit of a gap. Looks like they're going to draw closer here through this turn complex. Or not. And they're kind of spreading out now more. Nico Thomas holding second. Patrice third. Takasani fourth. Aceman fifth. And Mathis a clear sixth. And Samuel Highcliffe holds a large lead. Now Takasani was just pulling up on Patrice's bumper, but she got away. Aceman is closing in on Takasani now. That third spot is what's going to matter here. Takasani to the inside on the base straightaway. Yes, and Aceman is going to get by Patrice as well. Aceman to fourth. Takasani to third, and Patrice back to fifth. But Patrice is going to come to the inside off the final turn on Aceman and take the spot. Unfortunately, it's not going to matter because that was for the fourth position. Then we have Samuel Highcliffe taking the win. Nico Thomas in second. Sakito Takasani advances to the last chance dash in third. Ana Patrice comes in fourth. Aceman fifth. And Xavier Mathis comes in sixth. Now we move on to heat number three. Number 16 for Destiny Racing, Rocco Salzani starting in the first position by taking the third qualifying spot. Stuart Townsend in the number 99 Orange Racing Team Austria machine in second. Jake Sanson in the Razgriz number 32 in third. Robert Hacks in his own 928 in fourth. Fernando Neri in the 404 in fifth. And Forrest Evers in the 100 car starting in sixth. And we're ready to go racing. Three, two, one, and we're going. And Salzani gets a little bit of a jump there, but Townsend looks like he's going to be close behind, as is Sanson. Those three privateers look like they're falling behind quickly. Sanson going to try a move onto the inside right before the base straightaway, but it doesn't stick. Those three up front are really going to have a battle here. Sanson and Townsend get together. They're in the wall across the curb. That gives Rocco Salzani the lead for sure. Halfway through this heat, Townsend is going to be pressuring Sanson onto the base straightaway. He can't get there quite yet. He's to the outside. If they're not careful, they're going to take each other out, and Robert Hacks will move into that second position. They're just all over each other here. Townsend trying to make it work on Sanson, but Sanson is holding him off for now. He's right there on his bumper. He drops back a little bit and closes up on the base straightaway. He's going to make a move to the outside, but it doesn't stick. He now he's going to go to the inside through the S's. He's got the position. Sanson pressuring him. He's going to go to the inside onto the main straightaway. He's got the second position now onto the last lap. Townsend still pressuring Sanson. He's dropped back a little bit. He may try and make a move on the base straightaway again. He's going to... No, he's not going to get there. He may try to go to the inside... No, oh, he holds his position. He closes up to his bumper. Is he going to get him on the inside on the final turn? No. Townsend is not going to be able to get there. Sanson holds on for second position there. With Rocco Salzani taking the clear victory after Sanson and Townsend got together in the S's. So that's Rocco Salzani taking the first position. Jake Sanson will take second. Stuart Townsend takes third. And then the privateers, Robert Hacks, fourth, Forrest Evers, fifth, and Fernando Neri ends up in sixth. None of them will be seeing advancement today. Now we move to our last heat of the day. Heiner Neuer in the Planet Gene Rally number 18 takes the first starting spot. Vince Rosek in for Orange Racing Team Austria takes second. Brandon Odor will start in the Herbal Productions number 14 in third position. Jan van Koilik. In the Planet Gene Rally, number 19 in fourth. Matthias Maldonado in the R Garage, 17 in fifth. As Steve Sinzer in the 111 starts sixth. We'll get this last heat underway here. Three, two, one, and we're off. This one is probably going to be the closest heat of the day. As all these drivers up front are probably pretty close together in time. Yes, there is a massive battle. A huge scrum through the first turns. And it looks like it's 
going to be Van Koylik to the lead, but his teammate comes to the inside. Heiner Neuer takes the lead, and Rosek battling him for second. Odor is there as well. Looks like Neuer is pulling away, but it's going to be close for that second and third spots. Jan Van Koylik is holding second. Rosek is really pressuring him, but Brandon Odor is right behind them as well. He has a little trouble off of that turn onto the base straightaway there. It's Heiner Neuer holding the lead. Vince Rosek is pressuring Jan Van Koylik in that number 19 car there. He is not going to give up. Rosek to the inside on the first turn, back around to the inside through th two and three. Drops back four and five onto the base straightaway. Heiner Neuer holds the lead. Now it looks like Odor is coming to Rosek's bumper. He may have a challenge for him there through the S's onto the main straightaway. The last lap, Heiner Neuer looks like the clear winner. Second place looks like it's probably going to be Van Koylik. Third is going to be a battle between Rosek and Odor. It looks like it could be, but Rosek is now closing on Van Koylik. But this gap is now maintaining steady. It looks like Neuer is going to take the win. And there's not going to be a battle off of that last turn. So we have Neuer taking the win there. It's going to be Jan van Koylik taking second place. Third is Vince Rosek. Fourth, Brandon Odor. Fifth, Matthias Maldonado. And sixth is Steve Sinzer. So this sets the field for the last chance dash. We'll head up and get to the starting lineup for that right now. And here's the lineup for the last chance dash. Vince Rosak in the number five will start first. Stuart Townsend in second. Carl Weiss third. And Sakito Takasani will start fourth. Three, two, one, and we are racing. No definite advantage off the grid there. Townsend and Rosak, two teammates. They need to be careful not to take each other out. They both should try to advance to the next race. Carl Weiss to the inside of Townsend and Rosek, but that's not going to stick. He drops back. Takasani holding fourth. Now Takasani to the inside of Weiss. Rosek holding the lead. Stuart Townsend holding second. Weiss third. Takasani fourth. This is going to be a tough battle here. It looks like they're all pretty close. Takasani to the inside. Uh, Vice on the base straightaway, and he is not going to be able to hold the position through the S's. Rosek is starting to run away. Stuart Townsend holds second. Third, Vice. Fourth, Sakito Takasani, just as they started the race. He's starting to spread out a little bit. Rosek and Townsend hold those two positions. Vice is going to have to try something here to get up to Townsend in order to try to advance to the next race. I don't know if he can get there or not. It's looking like they're staying pretty consistent in their intervals here. Rosek first. Townsend gaining on Rosek a little bit. He's going to go to the inside off of the end of the base straightaway, and he's going to take the lead away from his teammate. Townsend goes over the curve. They get together, but they hold on for first and second. Boy. If I'm the owner of Orange Racing Team Austria, that probably would have given me a little bit of a heart attack there, seeing my two drivers going at each other and potentially taking each other out. So I have Stuart Townsend and Vince Rosek will advance to the B-Main. Vice and Takasani will not. <laughs> 